Colossians 2 verse 14. Colossians 2 verse 14. Listen to another deception that I've been going on. You, you will set your mind free. Colossians 2 verse 14 to 17. Having wiped out the handwriting of requirement that was against us, which was contrary to us, and he has taken it out of the way, having nailed it to the cross, having disarmed principalities and powers, he made a public spectacle of them, triumphing over them in it. So let no man judge you in food or in drink or regarding a festival or a new moon or Sabbath, which are a shadow of things to come, but that the substance is of Christ. Hallelujah. This is another great deception that has been going on for a long time. Let no one judge you because Christ has nailed it to the cross. It's a lie. Christ nailed it to the cross our sins. Our sins is what Christ came to take away. It's not the commandments of God that Christ came to nail to the cross. It's a lie from the pit of hell. Christ came to nail our sins to the cross because he has taken it upon himself. And the Son of God took upon himself our sins and the Father's wrath fall on him. And he perished for us to live. Therefore, he is, Paul is saying to us that now that the Son of God has gone under the Father's wrath for you to live, you were supposed to die. You were supposed to perish. And now somebody stood in your place so that what you have done, the wrong you have committed, now you shouldn't die anymore. Therefore, live by not committing the same wrong again so that nobody will judge you and tell you that you are still committing the same offense and you are supposed to perish again. Praise the Lord. Therefore, he was saying that, so let nobody judge you in what? In food or drink or regarding a festival or new moon or Sabbath. Let me, let me tell you, your preachers, when they tell you that let nobody judge you in food or drink or in Sabbath, therefore you, nobody should judge us if you worship on Sunday, so we can worship any day we want. The same preacher, let him use this same scenario to define for you. Let no one judge you in drink. We have alcoholic drink, we have snap, we have soft drink like Fanta and Coke. So if no, let nobody also judge you in drink as you are saying that you can watch it any other day, then is the Christian also allowed with let nobody judge you in drink to take alcohol, to take snap, don't deceive the people of God. Because God's wrath will come upon you with such a deception. If you don't understand the scriptures, don't deceive them. Let no one judge you in Sabbath. Then you tell them that you can watch it any other day they want. Then let no one judge you in drink. Then they can also drink any, any alcohol they want. And they will make heaven. Is that not so? That's not all this life is what is causing all this things in the kingdom of God. Let no one judge you in food or in drinks. You don't understand. Paul is telling them that now you, you have been delivered from your sin. So don't go and sit at the restaurant or the bar and then be drinking alcohol or in food, eating anything. That others will look at you and say, look at the child of God. On Sabbath day, he is here selling items instead of going to serve God. They are judging you on Sabbath. You are drinking alcohol, then they, they look at him. He says he's a Christian and he's taking alcohol. They will judge you through that. So now that Christ has come to nail your sin to the cross, let nobody again judge you that you are still committing sin. You know the truth and the truth shall set you free. I pray God will enlighten your mind and help you to understand the scriptures so that nobody will deceive you once again from today ongoing. 